Reliability is one of the things FANUC is known for. Ideally, you'll never have to remove a circuit board from your FANUC CNC controller, but in this video we'll show you how, just in case. Let's talk safety right up front. Don't attempt to perform anything discussed in this presentation if you are not both fully qualified to do so and have the equipment owner's permission to do so. Before performing any maintenance, follow all plant safety and lockout procedures. These procedures should include releasing all energies related to the maintenance procedure performed. Some of the circuit boards on the CNC have battery backed up memory. Unplugging the SRAM module will almost certainly result in loss of the CNC's parameters, programs, offsets, and other data needed to make the machine run right. Make sure you have a memory backup before you remove the SRAM to be safe before you even touch the control. We are only a phone call away if you have any questions. Call 888-326-8287, press 2 for CNC, and 2 for technical support if you're not 467% sure about doing something. The hardware layout of the CNC controller consists of printed circuit boards, hereafter called PCBs, and dual inline memory modules referred to as DIMMs, mounted onto a main board. Each PCB has a single connector attaching it to the main board. The connector has a couple hundred pins and runs the length of one side. All of those pins connected together create a lot of gripping force, as you'll see when you try to remove the PCB. Opposite to the connector side, you will find two mounting posts with clips that hold the board in place. On later model CNC's, you will find a mounting post at all four corners, so you'll have to take a peek underneath to determine which side the connector is on. On the left here, you can see that the clip at the top of the mounting post is overlapping the edge of the PCB slightly. There is a second piece of metal sticking up that isn't touching anything. To release the clip, simply push it back toward the second metal piece until it locks in place. On the right, you can see that the clip is now locked back and the PCB is free to lift off. Let's see that in action. Now that the PCB is unlatched, it can be removed. Make sure you pull on the PCB's edges that are at each end of the connector, not from the sides. If the connector is oriented up and down, start from the bottom by lifting it up slightly and then lift slightly from the top. Only use as much force as is necessary. Brute force may result in damaging the connector on the PCB or main board. Lift in one direction and then another until the PCB pops free of the main board. Be careful not to drop the PCB when it does finally release. To reinstall the PCB, it's best to align the side that gets held down by the clips into the mounting posts first. If you keep the connector side raised slightly, it usually all lines up on the first try. Once you've got the connector on the PCB and the one on the main board lined up, you can push it down into place. Basically use the method for removal in reverse. If it takes more than 20 pounds of force to get it in place, something is not lined up correctly. 22.0462 pounds to be precise. To engage the mounting clips, simply push down on the part that is locked back and it should spring back into place. Occasionally you have to help them a little bit to overlap the edge of the PCB again. DIMMs are simply PCBs in a smaller format. Depending on the CNC model, you may find them out in the open, hiding under a PCB, and in some cases physically mounted to the underside of a PCB. There are two small metal clips on each side of the DIMM holding it down. Release the clips by moving them outward away from the DIMM. The DIMM will spring up and come to a rest at about a 45 degree angle. Then you simply pull it out of the DIMM socket. To reinstall, please bear in mind the DIMMs have a notch on one side, so if it doesn't seem to want to go into the connector, it might be upside down. 
place it into the connector at the same angle it came out, about 45 degrees. Push it down until the two metal side clips engage and keep the module held down. The clips can be tricky sometimes. Make sure they are both engaged. Let us know if we can help. Just call 888-326-8287. For technical support, press 2 for CNC and then 2 again. To order parts, press 2 for CNC, then 1 and 1 again. Thank you for watching.